The Russian standard kettlebell swing is very dynamic and a super power position. Russian standard means that the bell and your arms come to the top of the shoulder, unlike the American swing, which ends overhead. Here's some key points. The base of any swing is a deadlift, which is maximal bend to the hips and minimal bend to the knees. Same applies to the swing. Starting from the ground on the very first one, you go in through what's called a hike pass, which means you throw the bell essentially in between the knees and the groin, which is called a hike pass. You powerfully hike pass from the floor on the first one, and at which point your body then has to respond to that power by thrusting your hips, standing up tall, and at which point the arms continue to rise with the inertia of your body with the power that you've created. Be patient with the kettlebell coming back to your body, at which point you break at the hips and a little bit at the knees, reach your butt back, 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 stretching the hamstrings, and powerfully blast, standing tall, locking out the legs, and the arms coming back out in front. The bell in your, the bell right here should be weightless in the air. Here's how it looks, slightly from the side angle. Notice I am about a foot behind my bell. I've got my maximal bend in the hips. I have my hands on my bell, but I'm not ready just yet. I want to pull my arms into my torso, essentially setting the lats, which are the wings of your back. Take a nice big inhale, and you're going to toss the kettlebell between your legs and explode through. When you park the bell, you put it exactly back where you got it. That's the park of the bell. Here's some cues. The arms are long out in front. No chicken wing bent arms. Your neck should be neutral and your eyes across the room as if to look on the horizon. <laughs>